Newton PD detective who was killed allegedly by his stepson after an argument over yard work was remembered by family and friends as well as colleagues today. ABC 7's Richard Reed joins us live now from Northwest with this story. Richard. Candace, this is a day of mourning for MPD, but also time for a celebration of a life. Detective Joseph Newell was one of those larger-than-life guys. He loved being a cop, and today hundreds of people came to his funeral. A fond and dignified farewell for fallen MPD detective Joseph Newell. We lost a great guy. I mean, right now he's with the Holy Father. Hundreds came to the Jericho City of Praise Church in Landover to honor and remember Newell, gunned down, authorities say, by his own stepson. We are a close-knit family as officers, but our hearts grieve terribly for him and his family. Police say Monday night Newell had asked his stepson, 27-year-old Antoine James, to help with some yard work at their Upper Marlboro home. Instead, James is accused of shooting the 46-year-old detective several times. It's terrible. Newell's fellow officers are still trying to understand the loss of one of their own in this way. It's senseless and it's, it hurts when he succumbs to something like that in a manner where it was, it was violent, something that he dedicated his uh, career um, trying to stop. In his 24 years with MPD, Newell worked some of the toughest cases, armed robberies, shootings, and violent crime. He had a lot of vigor in him because he would always um, hang in there and very, very determined guy. The many who came here, the cars parked around the block. He was a police officer's officer. A tribute to an officer who friends say made a difference. He would have said, you know, don't worry about how, I, you know, how I passed, how I died. Focus on what I left behind. Focus on my legacy. And Detective Newell leaves behind a wife, two children, and two stepchildren. He is to be laid to rest on Wednesday. James turned himself into police earlier this week. He is being held on a first-degree murder charge. Live from D.C. Police Headquarters, Richard Grieve, ABC 7 News.